Hey guys, welcome. I'm just going to do a quick little fun flow. Um, my name is Nikki and um, I like to tell people this is your class. So please listen to your body, do what you need to do. Um, if something isn't working for you today or it's not in your normal practice, that's okay. I think part of the um, fun of being at home doing yoga is you may try some things that you normally wouldn't try in a studio because we do get a little more self-conscious in the studio, having people around us thinking that they're seeing us. But um, here's a little tip for that as well. No one's really paying attention to you except for the teacher. So everyone, usually everyone in class is focused on themselves and what they're doing. So they're not even looking at you or seeing you. And if they are, they're not judging you. Um, you know, they're just happy that you guys are all there together. We're all happy to be together in the class. So please feel free to try something new or different. If um, some of the things I'm doing here is not in your normal practice, uh, maybe give it a try or take a variation or a modification that works better for you and is more in your practice. Again, totally up to you. I'm just here to guide you through, have a little bit of fun today, and um, hopefully give you something a little bit different for your day. So we're gonna get started today in a seated position. And that can be on your knees, that can be um, on a block, or it can be knees crossed in front of you. It's whatever's comfortable for you. We're gonna be here for a few breaths while we're starting to bring our mind and our focus to our mat and our practice. Um, so again, find something comfortable. If sitting on your feet isn't super comfortable, um, go ahead and maybe take a block to sit on instead. Feel free to soften your gaze or close your eyes here. And just start to focus in on your breath. And as you inhale, seal your lips and breathe in through your nose, really pulling that oxygen in, down your throat, down into your lungs. And imagine it filling your entire lung all the way down to the bottom. And as you exhale, release your lips and let everything out. A nice and slow breathe in through the nose, filling your lungs all the way to the bottom. Take your time with that inhale. There's no rush. And then again with that exhale, nice and slow, let everything out. We're going to take three more rounds of breath, just like that, really pulling in that fresh oxygen. And then really letting out that uh, uh, stale oxygen. Let's take two more breaths, just like that. One more. Feel free to keep your gaze soft or eyes closed. We're just going to start with a nice seated cat cow. So as you inhale, start to lift your chin and your chest. Maybe if your your hands are on your thighs, they'll slide down towards your hips a little bit. And then as you exhale, start to curl your back, bringing your chin in towards your chest. Maybe your hands come forward towards your knees and your shoulders round. Four more breaths like that. Nice big inhale to lift chin and chest. Nice big exhale to curl it in. Two more just like that with your breath at your pace. And one more breath here. Next inhale, come back to center. And again, feel free to keep the gaze soft here if you'd like, or eyes closed. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, take a twist to the right, letting your hands float down wherever it's comfortable. Keeping your spine long. Inhale, come back to center, reach to the sky. 
Exhale, twisting to the left. Good. Two more each side. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to twist. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to twist. Good. One more time each side. Next, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let your right hand float down to the ground and reach over with your left hand, pushing into your left hip. Right hand can stay where it's at or maybe it reaches out further or maybe you have a block or some support under it as well. Two more breaths here. Really think of lengthening from the hip bone all the way up the side of the body as you inhale and then exhale, try and relax the body a little bit. On your next inhale, come back up to center. Exhale over to the left side, letting that hand float down, reaching with the right, pushing into that right hip, lengthening out the right side of the body. And we're gonna take one more breath here. And next, inhale, come back up to center. Fantastic, let your hands come down. We're gonna come into tabletop. So you can either roll forward or swing your legs around however you wanna get there. Bringing the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips, spine comes nice and long. We're gonna take three more cat calves here. So as you inhale, let the belly drop, head and hips rise. Exhale, press down into the earth. Arch your back up to the sky, bring your chin towards your chest, tucking in the tailbone. Two more just like that. Next inhale, come back into your tabletop position. Gaze is towards the ground, so necks in line with the spine. Tuck your toes, press your hips up and back and find your down dog. So take about four breaths here for any movement you'd like. If you like to pedal it out, move the hips side to side, um, maybe rise up to the balls of the feet and bring the knees down and come up. Some people also like to shift into their plank and then back to their down dog a few times. And feel free to put a little bend to your knees if that feels good. The down dog can be a little intense on the hamstrings and low back. Um, so again, feel free to put a little bend to the knees to take some pressure off. We're going to take one more breath in that down dog. On your next inhale, glance up at your fingertips. Exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Pause here for two breaths. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows, maybe swaying side to side. Just really letting your head relax. Let it gently lengthen out the spine, the weight of your head. Soften the knees if that feels good. Then press down into the soles of your feet and slowly roll up, stacking your vertebra one on top of the other and let the head be the last thing up. Shrug the shoulders up and back a few times, opening up the chest. And on your next inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Root down through the feet. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more just like that. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. Root down through the feet to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Excuse me. Excuse me, I have some allergies here. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, shift your weight towards your heels and sit your hips back, finding your chair pose. So we're going to be here a few breaths to start out. So chair, your arms don't have to be up by your ears. This is not super comfortable for me. You can bring them down shoulder height. 
You can bring hands to your heart. You can also take some cactus arms as well. Be careful when you take those cactus arms though. It's very easy to press the chest forward and tilt the tailbone out. And you wanna pull in these lower abs and lengthen the tailbone so it stays in line with your spine. You're gonna take one more full breath in that chair pose. I didn't forget you were there. And then on your next inhale, rise back up, reach to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine gazes towards the ground. Exhale to fold. Inhale, step that right foot back behind you. Plant your right hand, left fingers reach up to the sky. So you can keep your twist here, hand to your hip or wrap your arm around your low back. You can also lower this knee if you'd like support. Next, inhale, reach for the sky if you wrapped your arm. Exhale, let the hand come down inside of your left foot, turning your right heel. Right hand reaches up to the sky. Reach down into the outer edge of that right foot and rise up warrior two. Good, take a couple breaths here to get set up because we'll be here a few times today. Shoulders shrug back, all 10 fingers are equally strong. Knees in line with your toes, rooting down to the outer edge of that back foot. Inhale to reach with all 10 fingers, a little bit longer. Exhale to root down a little bit more. Inhale, flip the left palm, sweep your fingers up and back to dance your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot. Pause here, shift your weight into that left foot. Float your right leg, stand these lifts. So that leg doesn't have to come very high. Just take a couple breaths here. Really think of maybe lengthening out the leg, squaring your hips up towards the ground. And on your next exhale, gently bend that right knee and set your foot next to the left. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, sit back into your chair. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift to that nice flat back. Gazes towards the ground. Exhale to fold. Left foot steps back. Plant your left hand. Right fingers come to the hip. The sky or wrap around your back. Take one full breath. If you wrap that arm, reach up to the sky. Let the hand come down inside of your right hand. Turn in the left heel. Left hand reaches up to the sky. Then press into the outer edge of that left foot. Rise up into your warrior two. Good, take a couple breaths here to find the shape. Again, all 10 fingers are strong, shoulders over hip, chest is open, knees in line with your toe. Inhale to reach a little further with all 10 fingers. Exhale to root down into your feet. Inhale, flip the right palm, sweep the fingers up and back to dance your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot, shift your weight and float that left leg. Square the hips towards the ground, take a full breath in here. And on your next exhale, soften that left knee, set your foot next to the right, inhale to rise up. Exhale, find your chair. Inhale to reach, exhale to fold. Halfway lift, nice flat back, and fold. Right foot steps back, plant the right hand, left fingers reach up. Exhale, bring that left hand inside of your left foot, turn in the right heel, right hand reaches up, then rise up into that warrior two. Inhale, reach forward with the left hand, shifting your rib cage, exhale, extended side angle. So you can keep your elbow light on your thigh, reaching for the sky, arm to ear, or wrap that arm around your low back. Maybe open everything up. We're gonna take about two more breaths here, but really think of rooting down, engaging the fingers. So a lot of times we forget this hand here, this left hand. You really wanna keep reaching with the fingertips and keep it nice and energized. If you took a full or a half bind here, go ahead and release. And then as you inhale, sweep the left fingers up and back to the inner warrior. Good, lengthen out that left leg, rise up arms to a T. Reach forward with the um, right 
the left hand push back on the right hip triangle pose so your hand can come to a block your shin maybe it even comes to the ground you just want to keep the spine long so a lot of times you'll see people like this you want to keep that spine long so maybe your hand comes to your shin instead of the ground next inhale sweep the left fingers up and back to the answer triangle exhale cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot shift your weight float that right leg standing splits okay so we're going to do similar to a shiva squat you're going to as you exhale bend both knees and bring that right knee in towards your nose inhale to lengthen out two more like that and one more Good, and then next, exhale, bend that knee and set your right foot next to the left. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, find your chair. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift and lower. Step your left foot back, plant your left hand, right fingers reach up. Exhale, let that right hand come inside of your right foot. Turn in the left heel, left arm reaches up and rise up into that warrior two. Inhale to reach forward with the right hand. Exhale, extend a side angle. Three breaths here, keeping all 10 fingers active. If you keep that elbow on your thigh, make sure that your chin's not falling into your shoulder. You're lengthening through the spine and the neck right here. If you took that half or full bind, go ahead and release. Sweep the right fingers up and back to dance your warrior. And then lengthen out the right leg, arms to a T. Reach forward, shifting your rib cage, pushing back on the left hip. Find triangle pose. Remember to keep that spine nice and long. So even if you're not touching the ground, that's okay. You want to keep the spine long. Sweep the right fingers up and back to the outer triangle. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot. Shift your weight, float the left leg. Good, and then bring that knee into your nose, curl your back like a cat, inhale to lengthen. Two more like that. One more. Good, then set that foot down next to the right, inhale to rise up. Exhale, find your chair. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift and lower. And right foot steps back, plant your right hand, left fingers reach up. Exhale, let that hand come down inside of your foot, turning your back heel. Left arm, right arm comes up, rise up into that warrior two. Inhale to reach forward, exhale, extend inside angle. Inhale, sweep the left fingers up and back. Exhale, lengthen out the left leg, arms to a T. Reach forward with that hand, push back on the right hip. Uh, triangle pose. Sweep the fingers up and back to dance. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot. We're going to add a little bit more here. Inhale, shift your weight, float that leg. So we're going to do one knee to nose like we did before, and then we're going to do one Shiva squat. Inhale to lengthen out. Exhale, bend both knees. Bring the right behind the left. Inhale to lengthen. Two more times like that. Knee to nose. And lengthen. Shiva squat. And lengthen. One more time, knee to nose. And lengthen. Shiva squat. And lengthen. Good. Soften that knee. Set your foot next to the left. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, find your chair. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift. And lower. And right foot steps back or left foot steps back, <laughs> plant your left hand, right fingers reach up to the sky. Let that right hand come inside of your foot, turn in the left heel, right, uh, right arm comes up, or left arm comes up, rise up, warrior two. Inhale to reach forward, exhale, extend inside angle. Inhale, sweep the right hand up and back. Exhale, lengthen the right leg, arms to a T. Reach forward with the right hand, push back on the left hip, triangle pose. Sweep the fingers up and back. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot, shift your weight, float the left leg. Just like before, one time knee to nose and lengthen it out. One time Shiva squat, knee behind the right 
and lengthen it out two more times here. We've got one more time. Lengthen it out, soften that left knee, set it next to the right, inhale to rise up. We're gonna add on one more thing, find your chair pose. Inhale to rise up, exhale to fold. Halfway lift and lower. Plant your hands, step your left or right foot back, plant your right hand, left fingers reach up. Left hand comes inside of your foot, turn in the right heel, right arm up, rise up, warrior two. Inhale to reach forward, exhale, extend inside angle. Sweep the left fingers up and back. Lengthen the leg arms to a T, reach forward, find your triangle pose. Sweep those fingers up and back. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot, shift your weight, float that right leg. One time knee to nose and lengthen. One time Shiva squat and lengthen. We're gonna take that knee to nose again. Take your time here, really rooting down into that left foot as you gently rise up. And feel free to set that foot down if you need a little kickstand for a moment. Take a pause, square up the hips, flex that foot, knees in line with the hips. Hands can come to your heart. You can pause here or you can take your left hand light to the right thigh reaching the right arm back, maybe your gaze follows, maybe you pull that knee in, or maybe you even grab your big toe. We're gonna to take two breaths here. Know you can always come out of it if you need to at any time. On your next exhale, gently come back to center, but keep that knee lifted. I know that that left leg is really feeling it here. We're gonna come into warrior three. So you can soften that left knee, Start to hinge forward, push the sole of your right foot towards the back. Okay, so you can stay here, arms forward, arms back. You can grab some support if you need it. So block is really nice here. A lot of times in warrior three, our toe and our hip are turned out a little bit. So maybe pause here, dial your toe and your hip bone down and see how that feels. We're gonna take one more breath wherever you're at. Beautiful, then rise back up to that standing crane. Take your time again. Inhale, straighten out the right leg, reach for the sky. Exhale, set that foot down next to your left hands to heart. Good, inhale to reach up. Exhale, sit back in the chair. Inhale to rise, exhale to fold. Halfway lift and lower. Plant your hands, step your left foot back. Plant your left hand, right fingers reach up. Right hand comes inside of the right foot, turn in the left heel, left fingers reach up, rise up into that warrior two. Inhale to reach forward, exhale, extend the side angle. Inhale, sweep the left fingers up and back. Oh, we just did this side. <laughs> and sweep the right fingers up and back. Exhale, lengthen out the right, Leg, arms come to a T, sorry I confused you guys there. Reach forward, find your triangle pose. Sweep the fingers up and back. Sometimes I confuse my left and my right. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot. Shift your weight, float that left leg. One time knee to nose and lengthen. One time Shiva squat and lengthen. One more time knee to nose. And then from here, again, you're going to take your time rising up into that standing crane. Square up the hips, foot is flexed. You can stay here. You can bring that knee in, grab your big toe, or you can take that twist, reaching back, taking a couple breaths here. Okay, reaching back, taking a couple breaths here. And gently coming back to center. Hinge forward, pushing the sole of that left foot back, finding your warrior three here. And again, maybe dial the toes and the hip bones down for a moment. Take a couple breaths. Good, gently rise up, float that knee again. 
Set your, uh, lengthen out the leg, reach up, exhale, hands to heart.